Hello folks and welcome to our new magical education series and today we are going to begin with the first part of our elemental journey through the pinnacle. Today we start on the lower left hand side of the pinnacle, the outer point, outer part of the point. And just so you know, this journey through the pinnacle is just how a, a person would normally draw it. So starting uh, at the outside line of the lower left point, which is the point of earth, the line goes from the earth point to the top of the pinnacle, or to the top of the pentagram, mind you, which is the point of spirit. But today we talk about earth and Earth is where we as pagans, witches, shamans, druids, magical people, this is where we make our journey in life. The Earth, Gaia, the Mother, this is what sustains us and gives us our life. The animals, critters, the people, the majestic forests, the oceans, the mountains, it's all encompassed by this planet where we call our home, Earth. This is where we gain the power for our magic. The gods and goddesses are what look over us and look over the Earth itself and to help to protect it. And uh, just everything here is abundant with life. And we've been here for millennia. We've been here through ice ages and all kinds of natural catastrophes and things. But over all of it, society and the world and people and the animals and the other nature spirits and the ancestors have existed for billions and billions of years. So we're going to talk about the idea today of uh, the earth as our sustainer with all the food. That's one thing that is, is important to us as pagans and magical people. It's the cycles of the earth. How we go through the seasons. How we are able to grow food and survive and hunt. And then society. How we sustain each other with love and uplift each other as humans throughout all the places of the world, uh, the pinnacle is a very important symbol. It is the five points, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit surrounded by the universe. And this is where we make our start. This is where we make our beginnings. When we meditate, we meditate on the powers of the earth. When we work magic, we work with the powers of the earth. And... We have the correspondences of the color green and brown and other earth tones and colors that show the soil and the plants and the trees and even some of the colorings of the animals, the zebras and the giraffes and, and all of these wonderful uh, beings that live all up on our, all up on our planet. Uh, you know, we've had people that have uh, taken the time to show us how to work with earth energy. Earth energy is grounding. Whenever we work ritual and the energy has just been so saturated and so thick, what's one of the first things that we do? We ground. We bend over, put our hands down into the earth, across the tops of the grass and into the soil. And release the energy that we have taken from it and give it back. The earth, that's one thing. We should work in tandem with what the earth provides us. We should never take more than we need. We should help our brothers to help them to survive and, and be fruitful too. We should always be caring and open and giving. That is an earth trait. Strength. The mountains are strong. That is the thing that whenever we are at our lowest points in life, we can look at the, the tall trees and the mountains and the rolling hills and just know that they are so strong and they are what gives us our energy and our power. This series is going to uh, continue. We are going to be moving up 
into the next uh, realms of, uh, of the points. So today, like I say, we're going from the outer uh, line of the uh, lower left-hand point of the pinnacle and moving up to spirit. And some suggestions that um, I think for those that are uh, looking to kind of learn about earth magic is anything working with stones, find uh, quartz crystals, moss agates, amethysts, all these things that are the beauty of the Earth Mother. And we have writers and members in, in the community, uh, past and present, that have given us their wisdom. And I'm just going to give you three suggestions, just to, as a starting off point. The Green Witchcraft Book series by Ann Mora, all of them, I have them all, and they are great, wonderful, just beautiful books that will help you with your practice. Uh, ritual, fairy lore, earth magic, herbalism, which herbalism is very important in earth magic. We have the goddesses, we have Gaia, we have Demeter, we have all of these things that uh, tie us to the pinnacle. And then another couple of books that I highly recommend are Earth, Air, Fire, and Water by Scott Cunningham. And another book that I highly recommend is Earth Power by uh, uh, Scott Cunningham. And another one that I kind of really just, I, I, I keep this to myself, but I will put this out there to you. Another book that I highly recommend is by uh, R.J. Stewart, and it's called Earthlight. Um, you know, these are some good places to, uh, you know, find out about working more with the energies of the earth than we already do to work with the spirits of place and our ancestors and to increase our power as witches, pagans, shamans, Ozatru, whatever we may be, we all live here. We all float through the universe and uh, this is our home. So we are children of the earth. We are children of the gods and that's very important. I thank you for starting out this journey with me. We've got, uh, we're going from earth tip to spirit tip and then moving on. And this is no particular way. This is the way most people would draw a pentacle. So we're, uh, draw a pentagram. So we're going to start with this. And the next episode of that uh, I will be bringing to you is we're going to talk about the element of spirit, what it is, and then take you on through the rest of the journey. I appreciate you guys all as, as subscribers and friends of the channel. I highly uh, recommend if you'd like to help and be a part of this to uh, join our Patreon. We've got uh, polls and we've got online classes and all kinds of things for your support to help grow the channel to help me make a better uh, a Pagan Perspective YouTube channel for you. Also, I'm going to put a link in here. We have a 600 subscriber giveaway. We've got a beautiful Athame with its sheath and some books that we are going to be um, giving away to one lucky winner whenever we reach 600 subscribers. So I just wanted to take a short time to uh, bring you the point of earth moving up to the point of spirit in this elemental journey through the pinnacle. This is Reverend Sylvanus Treewalker, the Order of the Standing Oak and Raven Temple of Siax Wicca saying blessed be and I'll see you next time.